everyone. It's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com. Today, I have a question for you. Are you a late night snacker? Do you find yourself in the food pantry at night looking for food, just kind of mindlessly eating? Does that happen to you? Late night snacking? Yeah. Well, today I'm going to share some of my top tips to help you avoid or curb that late night snacking. And if you don't know, I'm Laura London. I'm a holistic health coach, nutrition and fitness coach, and I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out through sensible nutrition and effective exercise programs at any age. So tonight we're talking about late night snacking. Do you do that? Because I know so many people do. One of the main reasons that people are snacking late at night, well, I wanna give you two main ones. One, they're, they're just bored. They are just bored, they're looking for something to do, and eating is really simple and really easy. The second one is that they just haven't eaten enough during the day. Hi again. It's not, no, this is not for, well, this video. This is for anybody. These tips are for anybody, yes, to avoid late night snacking. These are what, what I do personally to avoid late night snacking. So, Hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. We're talking about tips for avoiding late night snacking. So number one, the reason why people, yeah, snack late at night is they're just bored. Number two, or they haven't eaten enough throughout the day. So here's what uh, some things that I do. If I'm hungry, first of all, I realize, am I really hungry? or am I just wanting to eat something just to eat? So first, it's just being aware. Awareness is really key. Sometimes we don't even just tune in to what's going on in our own bodies. So one of the things I do is I make myself a cup of tea. I'm like, Laura, can I be okay without eating something right now? Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes it's no. So I make myself, ooh, I didn't bring my tea in with me. Here's my, I have a fancy pretty mug. It says make today a marvelous. And I have, it's called bedtime tea. It's um, by Yogi, it's uh, organic, non-GMO. I make myself a nice cup of tea. This one has a little sweetness in it. So it satisfies if you're having a little sweet craving. And the warmth, the time it takes just to make it and to sip it, you'll realize that you're not really even hungry anymore. So that's number one, simple, easy. You can do this, right? Yeah, I know you can. All right, second one is if I'm hungry and I'm really my belly, I just want something to eat, I'll grab a piece of low sugar fruit. So here, this is a beautiful, I think they're called halos or this is a clementine just a nice little piece of fruit. Take your time slicing it, cutting up. It might be an apple, a green apple. Frozen grapes are awesome. If you're having a late night snack, they're like, um, you know, they satisfy that nice if you're wanting cold, like ice cream, way better than a popsicle because the frozen grapes take a little while to actually eat in your mouth and they give you that nice frozen feeling with no fat. It's, they have antioxidants and they are not loaded with calories. And it's hard to eat a lot, a lot of frozen grapes. It's actually harder to eat more frozen grapes than regular grapes. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking about avoiding late night snacking. I'm Laura London. I'm a holistic health and wellness coach and fitness specialist and I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out through sensible nutrition and effective exercise programs at any age. So here's another thing that I do. A hard boiled egg. Protein is really great and really satisfying. So if you're hungry in the evening, having one or two hard boiled eggs is really great. They're protein with a healthy fat. I like to do this. 
I take my little, can you see him? He's so cute. My little egg slicer and I slice the eggs and I lay them out on a plate and I'll have um, maybe a tablespoon of either mustard or a natural salad dressing with that. Eating it slowly, it's very satisfying and you're not gonna be eating a half a bag of chips and you're gonna be satisfied and it's just a simple and easy thing to do. I hard boil like four to five of these at a time and I always have them in the refrigerator so I can grab and go at any time during the day. Awesome. All right, so a big thing also is to realize, are you eating for emotional reasons? or you're eating because you're really hungry. And a lot of times it's emotions. It's stress eating, it's emotional eating. And that's huge. A lot of my clients find when they really sit down and think about it, they're eating because they're stressed or they're eating because they're frustrated. So knowing the difference between being hungry and emotional eating is really, really huge. I have a great article on emotional eating on my website, lauralondonfitness.com. So you can go read about that. Just put in the search box, uh, emotional eating. Another thing you can do if you really are not wanting to eat is to go brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, um, eat a mint, eat a piece of gum. Freshening your breath will totally take away that craving. You can put a drop of peppermint oil in your mouth. There are a lot of different alternatives you can do. And what I'm doing is helping you put these things in your weight loss toolbox so you'll know what to do when those cravings hit. A lot of times also we have a craving because what happens in our body, we're lacking serotonin. Serotonin is the feel good hormone and carbohydrates supply the body with that, that feel good feeling right away from the carbohydrates. So if you're lacking in serotonin, you need to go out there and get some vitamin D during the day, some sunshine, instead of getting uh, some potato chips or cake or sugar. Sugar is very, very addictive. It's more addictive than cocaine. And once you get on the sugar roller coaster, it's very, very hard to get off of. But I will teach you how to get off that sugar roller coaster. Oh, I am running out of, out of power here. Note to self, charge your phone before you do a Facebook Live. So if you're just tuning in, I was talking about my top tips for avoiding late night cravings and snacking so you can review this video uh, I also want to tell you hey again Shane that I have the hot body express 30-day accountability challenge starting on Monday you can go learn more about that at hotbodyexpresschallenge.com and that is 30 days of accountability with you and me and a group of amazing women together. We're holding each other accountable. Um, so if you missed it, I'm gonna recap it really, really quick. You can go make yourself a cup of tea at night, which is relaxing. It's gonna take away those cravings. You can have a nice healthy piece of low sugar fruit at night, a healthy protein like some a hard boiled egg. You can go brush your teeth take a mint, but really the biggest thing is to know if you are emotionally eating or if you're really hungry. And again, I have a great article on emotional eating on my website, lauralondonfitness.com. And that is it for tonight. I'm gonna wrap this up and I just wanna thank everyone for being here tonight. And I know you are gonna use one of these tools tonight if you're feeling like you want to go munch on something, these are such better and healthy alternatives. And you know what? You're not gonna wake up puffy and bloated in the morning if you choose one of these options. And that's huge. You are here to feel fit and fabulous in the morning when you wake up, when your feet hit the floor. That is your birthright. And I think people forget what it actually feels like to feel good. All right, everyone, have a great night.
and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.